Hi, I'm Kerry from eSpares and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a multimeter to test your washing machine's heating element is working properly and how to replace it if it's not. If your washing machine is not heating up properly during cycles, it's a sign that your heating element is faulty and needs replacing. However, it's a good idea to test it before you replace it and that's where the multimeters come in. It's worth noting that the process may be different between makes and models of different appliances. However, the steps should be similar, so let's take a look. Before starting, it's helpful to understand what multimeters actually are. Multimeters are handy tools that can be used to measure the electrical resistance in a circuit. In simple terms, this means that they can be used to test electrical parts and components to determine whether or not they're working properly. If you don't own a multimeter, you can buy one from our website through a link in the description below. To test and potentially replace your washer's heating element, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a 10mm socket set and of course a multimeter. You may also need a new element, so we'll include a link to where you can buy the heating elements in the description. And remember, safety first, always make sure you switch off your appliance and unplug it from the mains before carrying out any work. If the water supply hose isn't long enough for you to pull out the machine and carry out the work, then you may need to disconnect the water hose from the back. If you do need to disconnect your water supply hose from the machine, then make sure you turn off the water at the mains water supply first. Also, make sure you have a towel at the ready to soak up any water spills that may happen before disconnecting the hose. First, you'll need to remove the back panel by removing the four screws with your Phillips screwdriver. With the screws now removed, you can go ahead and remove the back panel and place it safely to one side. Inside the back of the machine, you'll be able to see the heater beneath the drum. To test it, you'll first need to pull the two wires off the tags. To test the multimeter, you need to set it to the continuity setting, also known as the beeper setting. Then stick your two prongs onto the tags. If the multimeter beeps, it means that the element is working fine. If the multimeter doesn't beep, however, it means that the element is faulty and needs to be replaced. Now use your 10mm socket set to unscrew the bolt that can be found in front of the earth pin between the two tags. Then also remove the earth wire. Then use your 10mm socket set again to loosen the bolt behind the earth pin. Loosen this bolt to the end of the thread, but you don't need to fully remove it. Then to remove the element, push the bolt at the end of the thread inwards. This will also push the element inwards and loosen the collar allowing you to pull the element out. Now it's time for you to buy your new heating element and for this you'll need your model number. Now this is so that you can get the correct part for your make and model of appliance. Now if you're not sure what your model number is or where to find it, don't worry. Check out our video on finding your washing machine's model number here. To fit the new heating element, first simply slot it into place beneath the drum. If you find that it's not slotting in easily, a top tip is to add some washing up liquid around the seal. Then use your 10mm socket set to tighten the inner bolt. Reconnect your earth pin and then fit the pin back into place by screwing the outer bolt back on too. Then reattach the two wires to the two heating element tags like so. Finally, you can go ahead and refit the back panel by screwing it into place with the four screws you removed earlier. Don't forget to reattach your water supply hose if you removed it earlier and turn your water supply back on. 
And there you have it, how to test your washing machine's heating element with a multimeter and how to replace it if needed. Now it's a good idea to make sure that you're using your washing machine efficiently to save money, time and energy. So check out our video on energy saving tips for your washing machine here. Now before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for appliance repairs, maintenance guides and all things e-spares. Thanks for watching.